title of this video, Satan doesn't want you to know this. Now, after witnessing this new scary looking music video from artist Doja Cat. That's what this is, you know. Satanic black magic. Sick sh I've come to realize the most satanic thing about all this is not necessarily the imagery or the message even. And not just this artist, jo uh, Doja Cat, various other artists as well. I've come to realize the most satanic thing about all this is Satan is trying to convince you he is obviously evil. The Bible doesn't paint him as a scary looking beast with horns or something. In fact, the Bible paints him as the exact opposite of that. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, starting verse 13, it reads, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Here we see Satan's minions as masquerading themselves as Christians. The verse does not say that they transformed themselves into devil-horned beings. And why would they? Even Muslims wouldn't fall for that. The best thing for Satan and his minions to do is to transform themselves into something seemingly good. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan is not transformed as a typical demon or something. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And of course, Satan and his minions are the ministers of righteousness, meaning they teach man's righteousness, they teach a works-based salvation. They don't teach the righteousness of God, which is by simple faith in Jesus. So in, in a nutshell, Satan and his angels disguise themselves as something good, and they teach man's righteousness, also known as every religion. And then in another passage, where we see a minister of Satan disguised as something good, is in Revelation. Revelation chapter 13, starting verse 11. We see the false prophet who causes the whole earth to worship the Antichrist, painted in a similar fashion. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Isn't Jesus painted as a lamb? Yeah, the false prophet is going to look nice, and he spoke as a dragon meaning he preaches lies and an accursed gospel. Here's an example of a lamb speaking as a dragon. So not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, who will enter the kingdom of heaven? He who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven, will enter. Now here we cannot simply say that the will of the Father is to believe, because he goes on and he shows that he's, he's meaning more than that. The false prophet is going to look like a lamb who speaks as a dragon. And this verse is also similar with a verse in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, where Jesus talks about false prophets who are wolves in sheep's clothing. So you could also say the false prophet in Revelation is a dragon in sheep's clothing. And what I want to do now is look at some comments on this music video. A comment with 64,000 likes. Thanks, Doja, for reminding me to always pray every night. Another comment with 592 likes. Thanks, Doja, for reminding me to go to church every day. Doja reminding me going to church this Sunday and every Sunday after that is a good idea. Notice all these comments are implying this music video is of the devil. And it is of the devil, but not as they make it out to be. Thanks, Doja Cat, for making me wake up early in the morning on Sunday to, to attend church service. Doja got me going to the church daily now. Thanks, Doja, for reminding me to pray every day and night. These people are already de deceived. These people are attributing evil, are attributing Satan to this. This is dangerous because, again, when a false prophet comes on the scene with their suit and tie such as Paul Washer or Ray Comfort preaching repent of your sins to be saved. Hey, that's a good thing to do. Of course they're not of the devil. The devil is scary looking and cusses like a sailor and whatnot. These people are going to be duped by it. Because they live by sight, not by faith in what the Bible says. And ultimately, when the Antichrist comes on the scene, 
with his wonderful miracles, his handsome looks, his charisma, etc., most of these people will run in line to their savior, their false savior. So that's basically all I have. The mystery of iniquity is already at work, as it says in 2 Thess 2.7.